All right, for the last and final card, we're working in this kind of purpley blue tone, which I love. All right, so you will see that the front of your card has this fun little cutout and all these tiny little um, dot cutouts. We're using a very heavyweight paper. This is called muscle tone paper. It's a very heavyweight cardstock. So the very first thing we're gonna do is on your light purple piece of paper, we're gonna put double-sided tape on the back side. And then we're gonna glue this on the inside of the card and there's gonna be about an eighth of an inch border on all four sides. Then you have the sentiment that says hugs. This is chrome coat paper, which is glossy on one side and matte on the other. What I did was I took um, this ink pad, it's called Berry Blaze, this rainbow ink pad. I smeared it across a craft mat. I spritzed it with water and then I took my chrome cut paper and did a monoprint off of that um, splatter background and then I took a heat gun and just dried it and then you created this really interesting kind of watercolor effect. Everyone's watercolor effect is different so just be aware of that. So as you're looking and you're like mine doesn't look like yours, that's okay. They're not supposed to all look exactly the same. But I did stamp the sentiment hugs on the far left which I thought I thought was sweet. So now we're going to put double-sided tape on the back side of that piece on all four sides. And then we're just going to take this and we're just going to adhere that to the top of our purple paper. Now remember, this is the inside of a card. Inside of the card. We haven't even decorated the front yet. Okay, so now you can decide if you want to do the purple ribbon or you want to do the blue ribbon down here. I'm going to go with the blue ribbon. So I'm going to take double-sided tape and I'm going to do a row of double-sided tape right here in that transition. We, so it's a little bit on um, the watercolor paper and a little bit onto the purple paper. And then you need to make, um, I'm gonna take your, I recommend you take your pair of scissors and make sure you get a nice crisp cut line edge on the side of your blue ribbon. And that's gonna be flush with the middle of your card. Okay, right there with that center. You're gonna pull this across. I'm hoping that's straight. And you're gonna stick that down. Flip this over and we're gonna trim off the blue so it's nice and straight. Or straight-ish apparently. There we are. And that's going to be the inside of the card and then we're going to close this and now we have if you have a single heart and then you have a row of hearts so for the single heart i'm going to go ahead and just fussy cut this i'm going to cut this out and i'll leave a little bit of a halo around it um i know that some of the hearts were cut kind of close so i would say cut the cut it the best you can i'm going to put double-sided tape on the back side of that single heart as I close my card, this little circle here, I'm going to go ahead and just place a heart right there. So that way I know it's going to line up perfectly. And then I'm going to take my row of four hearts. I'm going to be putting double-sided tape on the back side of that. And then I have my pink mesh ribbon. We're just going to stick that right in the middle, flip that over, and we're going to put double-sided tape right there again, but only where those hearts are, are at. So the double-sided tape is only right here. It's not on any of this other part of the ribbon that's exposed. Now we're going to lay this on here. We're going to center this on the bottom of the card so that the mesh ribbon is seen. Now we're going to flip this over and trim off any excess mesh that might be showing. Okay. Now the final part of the card is you have your purple ribbon that's left over and we're going to tie a little bow. So once again, you just kind of create your loop tie your little bow and then just like we were talking about earlier sometimes if you hold that knot and then pull your little tails and then you can pull on the loops with your two your pointer finger and your thumb and hold down here the little tails so that way you're kind of creating an X as you're pulling and that will again kind of give you that nice shape of your ribbon and then I'm going to trim off the little tails whoops and the little tails here we're going to put double-sided tape right here in the middle where there's no little dots. And we're just going to stick that right down. And there we have our last and final card. Aren't those cards so much fun? Oh, I just love them. I love the monochromatic look, the yellow, the greens, the purple and blues. I just I love color so much. It just makes me so happy. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun with your cards. And thanks for joining me for card class. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.